Hi, I'm Jason Sanders, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload images to GPT-4 and um, using Autogen. Autogen is a tool or a framework created by Microsoft, which allows you to um, enable conversations between multiple AI agents. And um, as I said, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use that tool to upload images to GPT-4 and then ask GTP, GPT-4 questions um, about those images if you want. So with that, let me hide my head here and go over to the code. And what I've set up here is a Python Jupyter notebook within Visual Studio Code. Now you'll need to create a virtual environment, a virtual Python environment, and in, uh, do the following two installments. You'll need to pip install PyAutogen one millimeter, um, approximately equals 0 0.2.0B4 uh, in parentheses in, in these quotes. So you'll need to have those quote marks. And then pip install pillow. Those are, that's it. Those are the two installations that you'll need to do. And this first code block here essentially brings in the API key. And what you'll need to do is if you don't already have an account at OpenAI, you'll need to create one and um, create an API key. And my API key um, is over here in the ENV variable. So um, I've uh, pasted my key there and this code uh, block here brings it in uh, to my environment. So the next block of code here is where I'm importing Autogen and I'm creating the configuration list, which uh, establishes the model or connects to the model that I want to use. And for this uh, example, I'm going to connect to GPT-4, GPT-4-Vision-Preview. Okay, now once that's done, um, next I create something called an image agent. And I can actually call this whatever I want, but in this case I'm calling it image agent. And I'm setting that equal to multimodal conversable agent, conversable agent. And uh, with some items here, as you can see in parentheses, but before I get to that, be sure to um, do this import. So from autogen.agentchat.contrib.multimodal conversible agent, import multimodal conversible agent. So within these parentheses, getting back to these parentheses, uh, I'm setting the name, uh, I'm calling my agent image explainer um, because I want this agent to be able to um, read images. Max consecutive auto reply is 10. So the reason to do this is to make sure you, that you avoid getting into an inf infinite loop somehow which um, can run up your costs really quickly uh, if that happens. Next, we've got LLM config, which um, basically is um, bringing in the model that I wanna use. Um, it's set setting the temperature to 0 0.5. And if you're not familiar with temperature, that's basically where you can set the creat creativity of the LLM of GPT-4. Um, so the lowest setting is zero, and you might want to do that if you're doing something like writing code where you don't want a lot of creativity, or you could set it higher to like 0.9, something like that. If you're, um, wanting the GPT-4 to maybe, um, write ad copy for you or write a poem or something like that. And then max tokens, I'm setting it to 300. Again, that's to try to make sure to try to cut down on costs. So once our image agent is created, our agent that's going to be able to read and understand the image, um, 
I'm creating a user proxy agent here. And the user proxy agent is a stand in for me. And you'll see how that works in a minute. Um, so user proxy agent equals autogen dot user proxy agent. And within parentheses, we're calling it um, name user proxy. System message is a human admin. Um, so when the task is completed, the it'll end with a terminate message. And this next line here means that when this terminate message is created, I'm able to uh, put some input in. I'm able to either ask it a follow-up question or I can type exit, meaning I'm done. I don't have any additional questions. And then I'm setting here the maximum auto reply uh, equal to zero. So this next bit of code here is where we actually initiate the chat. So user proxy dot initiate chat. And what this means here is that I'm asking the image agent, uh, sorry, I'm asking the user proxy to initiate a chat with the image agent and to initiate that chat with a particular message. And in this case, the message is, um, what is on each of the following images? Actually, I'm gonna change that to start out with. I'm just gonna um, ask it to look at one image first. So um, this is the image I've got here. It's a cat wearing sunglasses. And what I wanna do is have the, see if the um, image agent here is able to read and understand and describe what this um what's in this what's in this image so let's start running the code um i'm gonna import my autogen here and set the configuration list i'm creating my image agent uh, i'm creating my user proxy agent and I'm going to initiate the chat and let's see if it's able to describe the image. So as you can see here, the user proxy um, is asking the question that I fed to it, um, is asking the image explainer, what is on each of the following images? Um, uh, that probably should have been what is on the image um, anyhow, it says the image shows a cat wearing round sunglasses sitting on a sandy surface, likely a beach. The sunlight is creating a lens flare effect on the sunglasses and the overall tone is the of the image is warm, suggesting it might be during sunrise or sunset. So that's it. It was able to um, understand or to, to read the image that I sent to it. And so I'm going to hit exit. And I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to send it another image. So this is just an image I grabbed from the internet. It's the U S per capita use of strawberries. And it's from 1980 to 2013 ish. And it just shows the, um, amount of consumption of frozen and fresh berries and also the retail price change, um, over that time period. So I'm going to go back to my code here and uh, what is on the image. I'm going to change that to the singular image. And I'm going to change this to straw consumption dot PNG. And I'm going to run that. And as we see here again, the user proxy is sending this message to the image explainer agent, what's on the image. And here we go. So the image explainer was able to um, describe it. So the image is a line graph titled US per capita use of strawberries. It shows the trends in the consumption of fresh and frozen strawberries in pounds per person, as well as the retail price of strawberries in dollars per dry pint 
from 1980 to about 2012, et cetera, et cetera. So it goes into some um, pretty detailed explanation of what's on this uh, graph. So one of the nice things about Autogen is I can now ask it a follow-up question if I want. So let me type in, what is the most significant finding from the data on the graph. And let's see what I get back. So I'm going to hit enter. And so the user proxy is again, sending this message to the image explainer. What is the most significant finding from the data on the graph? And the image explainer responds, the most significant finding is that the consumption of fresh strawberries has increased substantially over the period from 1980 to about 2012. The green line representing fresh strawberries shows a clear upward trend. Additionally, while the retail price of strawberries has also increased, the rising cost does not appear to have deterred the increase in fresh strawberry consumption. So it was able to pick up um, that nuance that the even though prices have gone up, consumption has also gone up. Um, so in contrast, the consumption of frozen strawberries has remained relatively flat and low, suggesting that the preference for fresh strawberries has grown in comparison to frozen ones. So this is pretty impressive. Uh, I uploaded a graph and not only was the agent, my image explainer, able to just describe it, but it was also to able to um, pick out some significant findings, um, do some analysis on it. So you can, you can see the power of this if you've got maybe a report with 10, 12 graphs, you could send it in and have the image explainer go through all of these charts and graphs and then come up with some significant findings or an executive summary or something like that, uh, basically with the click of a button. So let me exit out of this and let me show you that it is possible to, to do that in the sense of have it evaluate multiple images. So obviously these aren't um, multiple charts and graphs. I'm just gonna feed in the, the cat and the straw consumption um, images and see if the um, agent is able to describe both of them at, at the same time. So what is on each of the images? And I'm going to pass in the cat sunglasses. And let's delete the cache here. Okay. And again, this I'm just testing to make sure that if I feed it more than one image, it can actually read both of them. So let's try that. My user proxy is asking what is on each of the images to my image explainer. And my image explainer was able to do it. Um, it explained the first image is a line graph titled US per capita use of strawberries. And the second, second image features a cat wearing sunglasses. So it was able to do that. Um, anyhow, I hope this tutorial was helpful and it showed a little bit of the power of using Autogen and GPT and sending images and having the GPT read the images. So uh, until next time, I will see you again.